What's up guys, what's going on? We're out here, we're, we're about to do a, a car reveal, which we've never done. It's pretty Woo! cool. These guys are pretty pumped up. We have Christian, what's up Christian? What's up guys? We got, we haven't met Paul, right? Well, you guys have seen him on the vlog. I'm Paul, you nice to meet everyone. There you go, boom, and we got the twin over here, Modelo Time Manny. What's up? What's up? You, you, you look very pumped up. <laughs> It's just like you just got off of work and I'm tired. No models yet, right? No models yet. <laughs> Chilo, what's going on? How's your day? Good. Are you guys excited? Yeah. Cool car. Uh, and Bobby, what's up? What's up? We're excited to see it. Yeah. Well, knowing Luis, he usually makes jokes and cracks about like what he's getting, what he's not getting. So I'm still like right now in doubt or in denial of what he got. Do you know what he got? No. So um, what is this? Something from Japan and Germany. <laughs> Mostly German. <laughs> There's another color or no? He was, Luis was kind of in the mix of like maybe choosing white, red, maybe orange. Nice. I'm not sure. If you were to take a guess, what color is it? Just take a guess. Uh, I'll go with black. Black? I go with maybe. We got Luis on the phone. Maybe uh, red? Did. And you already know the color. I already know the color. Okay. El Tamayo. Anyway. Here we go guys, Luis, are you ready to open that garage? Let's go, behind that door is... So there it is guys, there it is, congrats Luis, the MK5, so is it a BMW or is it a Toyota? It's both, both, <laughs> best okay. of both worlds, is it? So what do you guys think, I mean, I love it, I personally, I will tell you guys the truth, I didn't really like these cars in the beginning, when they, now that I see it in person, like everybody else on the internet does the same thing, actually before that, you know I was, I was kind of getting into them, so um, this car is sexy guys, uh, I like it. What I like the most about this car is going to be the rear end. This rear end is amazing. It just looks sick in red. It just stands out. You can see all the, the lines and the curves. What uh -oh. you running under there? Sport mode. <laughs> Modelo Time Maddie, what's going on man? What do you think man? Now that you see it, it's here, it's in the flesh. What did you think about that exhaust sound? How was it? I thought it was the 4th of July, but man, that is super loud and super sweet. What do you think, Tamayo? I've never even seen one like This is the first one you've seen in person? Yeah. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of reveals here for everybody. What do you think of that exhaust, dude? It's nice. It's fucking loud, huh? In the streets of Mexico, guys. It looks really nice out here. Uh, so, Luis, so how do you feel, man, uh, being uh, the proud owner of your car? You finally did it. You finally got, got it. it. We bullshitted with him so much, giving him a hard time, and he got it. So, I want to say congratulations. Thank you, sir. What I do like about it now is that uh, it has red mirrors that match the whole car. So, good job, man. So, you. where'd you get it? I got it in Texas and Dallas. You went all the way to Texas yeah. by yourself? By myself. Wow. Flew there Monday morning, got there around 11 a.m. and was out of the dealer by 3 p.m. How many, damn, dude, so how many hours of driving? 25 hours. 25 hours. I got here at 11 p.m. the next day. <laughs> so how many miles did you buy the car with? Like seven miles. Seven miles? How many right miles? Right now it has about 1,700. Yeah, okay. What's your favorite part about it? 
does. Besides the looks, the power is yeah. pretty good. Is this the fastest car you've ever owned? I think so, yeah. yeah. With the STI, I did a 12.9 and a quarter mile. 12.9? This one's supposed to hit 12.5, so I haven't done it yet, so I can't really say it's faster than that. Are you taking it to Cars and Coffee? I will take it to Cars and Coffee and this Sunday. And are you taking Sunday. it to Fallon? Yeah, try to be there in Fallon as well. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go, guys. So we're going to see him out in Fallon and Cars and Coffee. So GR stands for Gazoo Racing, the Toyota's uh, racing team. So they helped out on a lot in the development of the suspension for this car, for the handling department. Nice. And you said the letters are not exactly the same as the old Supers. That is correct. They're, They're similar. They're though. similar. Similar style. Similar style. No Brembo's in the back. Just no Brembo's, just in the front. Um, the body lines are really nice, really sexy. Powerful in mirrors. Correct. Right? That's a reverse light. So it's a backup light? Backup light, yeah. So this is a launch edition, this is right? a launch edition. What is that? What's the difference Launch edition this? are the, supposed to be the first 1500 Supras made to the US. They all have their own individual plaque dictating which number it is, as well as a signature by the CEO of Toyota, Aisha Toyota. I like the uh, roof, how concave is in the middle. Yeah, the double bubble. This is number 898. 898. 898. Out of it's going to be your lucky number now, I guess. Yeah. 898. And you got it in red to match the Evo. Good exactly. Yeah. Boom. Matching cars, baby. Matching cars. Black wheels, red car. So the thing is, with the launch edition, they all have red mirror caps. Uh, but with this one, it kind of blends in because the car is red. I so. like it, actually, guys. Guys, I'm going to tell you guys, I like it because the mirrors actually match the whole car. All the red uh, baser premiums have black mirror caps. So that's how you can tell the difference between the red, besides the wheels. And then and then the uh, the black ones and white ones have red seats, right? Red interiors. Yeah, yeah so this one red black. seats, uh, red uh, steering wheel, and part of the console too. You wanted a white one originally, right? It was between the white or red, and I wanted the white one mostly because of the red interior. And, and I did hint to you guys, I did hint on the Lexus uh, car show, I did say, would a white one interest you, right? He did order a white one, um, but he wanted a launch edition, so he was going to do whatever it took to buy the launch edition. I'll show you guys the sticker price, what they cost, and the markup at the dealerships. Uh, how hard was it to get this car? It was, it was hard. Like I've never had an issue buying a new car until this one. So how many, dealerships, how many dealerships did you hit up? Uh, easily, I got to say, like between 30 or 40 different dealerships That's around crazy. the country. All the way back to New Jersey, like... Uh, Texas, Florida, just everywhere you can think of, Nevada, California, you know, everywhere. I actually did make a deal with Massachusetts, but they have some weird laws where um, you can't get a moving permit from that state, not even from the DMV, so I wasn't able to drive the car back to Nevada. And for that reason, they wouldn't sell me the car, not even by so towing it. That's crazy. So you still have a deposit on another yeah, ship right? I still have it, but obviously <laughs> I'm not going to get it anymore. It's just... Is that somebody already, is that guy going to go through and get it? Yeah, I have somebody in line to, to, to take care of, so to no, take no, over that one. He's not needed to get anybody else. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. So he does have a deposit on another white one, guys, but he was so like anxious to get it that he went and he searched and he found it. And they gave him a well, good deal. More than anything, it was because uh, that one was a premium model. And I knew down the road, I was going to regret not getting the lunch edition. How much more at markup in Fallon? They wanted about 3000 more, which is not much, but, but it's 3000 $3, yeah. yeah. So he saved 3000 by going to Texas and Dallas and buying it. So now it's here, guys. He could have had a, the other one, but uh, he was going to pay three grand more. So it pays to be patient. Yeah. Somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> so it has 255, 35, 19 in the front. Inch. 19 inch. The back and on ones? the back, we have 275, 35, 19 okay. So 20 millimeters. Nice. Wider. Well, cool. Well, there's the side, the, the back. Uh, we got the front. We have a. Uh, Three LEDs on each headlight? Uh, well, for the low beams and then three more for the high beams. So six? Six total, yeah. Six total LEDs. It's loud. Yeah, I mean, like, it's hard crazy. to believe it's a stock and sauce. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. I want to thank these guys over there sitting over there, uh, as you guys can see them. So shout out to these guys because these guys helped a lot with this. <laughs> so shout out to those guys. I appreciate those guys a lot. Right? Yeah, without, yeah, yeah. The, without them, we couldn't do what we do. So a big part of it. Right? So. Very, again, I'm proud of you, a new era addition to the family here. You guys are about to see the biggest hood you guys ever seen in your life. So you guys kind of get an idea. It's the hood with both fenders on it. That's why it's so big. Check it out, guys. When he pops the hood, look at how big this hood is. Holy <laughs> And one thing you notice, guys, it doesn't have any liner underneath it, which is weird. A lot of plastics, as you guys can see, when they showed the first pictures, they show a lot of hoses and stuff like that. Yeah, the wire. If you take that off, is it underneath that, do you think? Yeah, it's yeah. the red mist. Yeah. Turbo, 
you're, when you look at this car too guys you're gonna see a lot of bmw parts so you guys know this is a bmw guys in disguise as a toyota bmw made this car for toyota and where they make these cars Luis? in austria in austria yeah so they're imported from austria and um so what what engine does it have uh inline sits a uh, 3.0 liter inline uh it has a twin scroll single turbo okay then what, what is it, the 58 what b58 b58 which is a bmw it is not the same as the old one right that's correct it's a bmw engine it's an actual bmw engine but it's not the same as the old one no it's not it's the same engine you find in the i believe in the m2 from bmw as well as the new z4 okay so you do have a vin number here vin number right there twin scroll turbo cool it's a pretty good size i was looking at it earlier and it looks pretty big it's definitely bigger than what was on my sti or like a 16g turbo it's, it's a lot bigger right now the biggest thing people are doing are just downpipe and tune with maybe race fuel or 100 octane uh, with that they're getting between like 480 490 wheel horsepower so some of them are even getting over 500 which is crazy so toyota one of the things they did do they underrated the horsepower right right so even what, what do they claim it's, it has it's supposed to have a it's based at 335 to the crank when it's actually most cars being dyno are doing about 350 to the wheels so if you take that to the crank Close, close to like 400 to the crank. So what are they, how much, how much difference you said? Uh, so it was like 65 horsepower they to the they kept crank. It? Kind of like the Skylines, the old Skylines. Yeah. Yeah. Cheater car over here. Well, back then they had what was called a gentleman's contract in Japan. Gentleman's contract, yeah. Yeah, so all cars were supposed to stay at the same horsepower. Yeah. No. No, no. <laughs> no they, so two passenger car, um, the seats are really comfortable, guys. Yeah. I do like these seats. Uh, it made the 25, 25 hour drive really comfortable. Super comfortable, huh? Yeah. Chilo, you drove this car, man. You got to drive the Supra. I did. How does it feel? Hell, it's smooth. You, it's like super sensitive and everything. Like, like would brakes. you buy one? If you had the, I mean, if I had if, the money, yeah. Yeah? You would trade the WX on a heartbeat now? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> not, not at the moment, because I have a kid, but. It's not, because it doesn't have back seats yeah. like the old one. But if I was like paid That's off. You have the seats right? There's a limited edition Supra cover fiber. Uh, you got your screen up there, no sunroof. That's all real carbon fiber, right? Yeah, the yeah. car smells is like... Yeah. It smells good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so it has two subwoofers in the back and the trunk. Oh, look, subwoofers! Damn! Base! Two tens, it looks Does like. Does that have a spare or no? No, no, spare. no, spare. no spare tire. Right? Eight speed automatic. Eight speed automatic, which is a new speed uh, technology, right? Yeah. Look at that fancy BMW thing. shifter. Look at that thing telling you where to go. Who is that little midget right there, dude? Who is that? Oh, it's Cheeto! Oh, shit, it is Cheeto. It is Cheeto taking pictures. <laughs> we had a cop, a Sparks PD showed up. Somebody called the cops on us, telling the cops that there's potential street racers out here. <laughs> <laughs> Got the cops called on us for taking pictures. So anyway, we, uh, the guys over there, my, my brothers from another mother, were telling him uh, that they were just taking pictures. They go, oh, okay, we just got a report from street racing. Yeah, let's take all the pictures you guys want. You guys don't look like you're street racing. The guy was pretty cool. The gauges are pretty nice. It's all digital display, right? Yeah, yeah, all digital. Is Except all for the tachometer that oh, okay. stays like that. It's got an electric parking brake. Oh, a lot of the newer cars are going to electric parking yeah. brakes. So that's a little different for you, right? Yeah, yeah, well, it is. Parking sensors. Uh, you have the switch for the media system. For what is it? For all the media stuff, like the oh, okay, okay, just like a media control. Navigation so. menu, sound system. It does have a, what do they call that, uh, the display on the windshield? Uh, heads up display. Hell no. You can kind of see it, yeah, it's yeah. right there. Or is it? In the middle. Is it in the middle? Yeah. Okay, so it's a heads up display, guys. So what is that display for you? Uh, various things, like right now it's just displaying like the local speed limit as well as how fast you're going, your, your speed limit as well, or your speed, miles per hour. But uh, you can, it'll show you like everything from navig navigation, uh, media, like your songs you're playing, or FM radio, XM radio, whatever you're on. It'll show you pretty much whatever you get on your info system, infotainment, you'll get it over here too. Nice. Just a little bit smaller. You like it though? Yeah. Is it pretty like visible even day and night? I mean... Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. At night you can see it very well probably, right? Yeah, even in the daytime it's really very visible. So far guys, it drives very smooth. Oh yeah. Damn. It pulls pretty good guys. I like it. I like it. It has a... They call it a crackle on the exhaust, right? Yeah. yeah like you, It has like a crackle at the end. It's pretty cool. BMW transmission as well. Nice. Well, guys, I hope you guys liked the vlog. Again, uh, it's getting pretty late, pretty dark. I really appreciate you guys following us. Like, share, and subscribe. Stay up to date. Watch the channel, right, Luis? Yeah. What are we gonna take it from here? 
just What's keep, next? keep it going, you know, just keep doing more shows, keep doing more uh, drag racing, whatever we do. Guys, he did it, he, he followed through, he was a man of his word, he got the Supra, guys. Uh, again, I like it, I'm super excited, has big plans for it. Um, right now I just want to get some bolt-ons and a uh, tune. And then, like a downpipe, right? Yeah, downpipe. Uh, intake and, intake and, and a tune. Tune. And down the road, um, just go bigger, you know? Probably maybe a bigger turbo or something. Nice. We're gonna hit about a thousand subscribers here in a little bit. So we're gonna do a giveaway. What do you think we should give away? Actually, guys, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, uh, me and Sergio are gonna throw in a, a Hot Wheels collection. A Hot Wheels collection, uh, maybe, or, or some of the Hot Wheels. Uh, maybe some Starbucks cards, some hats, DGV hats, and some decals or stickers. So we're gonna do some giveaways and I'm one of the many. So unless Luis wants to throw something in, well, once we hit a thousand, yeah, sounds okay. So we'll see, we'll do a giveaway guys. So anyway, um, thank you, subscribe, and out with the outro with you. How, how does it go when you, oh. when you end it? <laughs>